Part four, the escape. One, at last there comes a time when it all comes to an end. Perhaps you're moving away, going to college. Maybe you even snagged a better job. You put in your two weeks notice and pretend like your manager isn't in tears in the back room, fumbling for a phone in desperation to find someone to replace you. Two. On your last day, you look back at all you have weathered, and you are proud. You have survived your time as a subway employee. You are fire-worn and battle-ready. You have fought the Quiznos manager hand-to-hand, -hand, scrubbed tables with bleach, sharpened knives, deadened what's inside to better harden yourself for the world around you. This little slice of inescapable surrealism has shaped you, rewritten you. Even as you cast off the apron for the last time, you leave a little part of your soul back in that kitchen. It's nibbled on by the cockroaches, splashed with tomato juice, trodden underfoot by some bright-eyed, fresh employee. Three. Subway leaves something of itself behind. You wake up in the middle of the night, gasping. The beeping of the oven cries for help. A customer sobs quietly against the counter, a chip card in hand. You recite the formula for the Italian BMT and try to remember the sharp tang of bleach and tomatoes at the back of your throat. You let yourself live there a moment and then your body sinks into the bed and you are asleep again. <laughs>